There are diplomatic protocols, so the Saudi Crown Prince was welcomed to the G20, but his diary won't be as full as normal. The Saudi Foreign Ministry quickly tweeting out pictures of Mohammed bin Salman talking to other world leaders, keen to show he's not been isolated or ignored. The French president had a brief exchange, at one point complaining in English that the Crown Prince doesn't listen to him. I will listen, of course, he replied. His team says he raised the war in Yemen and the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, and he urged international experts to be part of the investigation into the journalist's murder. Then there was the traditional picture of the leaders, the so-called family photo. The Crown Prince looked awkward as he took up his stance on the far right of the picture. Next to him, not a head of state, but the president of an international development bank. They shook hands. On the far left, the Turkish president. That was not done by accident. This still picture, the closest the two men have come since the journalist's murder. Donald Trump has been talking with other Saudi officials, but away from the cameras, an exchange with the Crown Prince. A friendly meeting, said the Saudis. A quick greeting, insisted the president. The Crown Prince got one warm welcome, an undiplomatic high five from Russian President Vladimir Putin, a man keen to capitalize on any fracture in US-Saudi relations. It may have been a gamble by Saudi's Crown Prince to come here given the current international outrage over the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. He's not been frozen out like some predicted, but the greetings, bar one notable exception, have been businesslike, the meetings short and to the point. His economic strength seemingly more important than his current diplomatic difficulties. Among the protesters on the streets of Buenos Aires, those angry to see the Saudi Crown Prince being welcomed by other world leaders. This young man has just committed an act of transnational state terrorism. It's terrible what's happening to the people of Yemen in the hands of this bloodthirsty, misogynistic and unspeakable dictatorship of Saudi Arabia. It's even more shameful that our country welcomes Mohammed bin Salman. Many G20 gatherings are instantly forgettable. This will be remembered more for who was there than what was discussed and world leaders will always have this picture to remind them. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the G20 in Buenos Aires.